I'm Mark Callahan, Mr. Saltwater Tank, and this is Mr. Saltwater Tank TV. Tonight we're going to talk about pests in the aquarium, specifically pests that infest and annoy hard corals. Um, more specifically, I'm going to talk to you about red bugs because I have a red bug outbreak in my tank. Now, red bugs look just like chiggers, for those of you who know what those are. They're little teeny tiny red bugs. They only hang out on smooth skinned acropora corals. So that's hard corals for you newbies out there. And they're really hard to see. And basically the way that you tell you have them is you're gonna look for corals that aren't happy. So for me, I had a Roscoe's Blue colony that never did as well as everything else in my tank. The Roscoe's Blue had no color and no polyp extension. So I knew something was up. So treating red bugs is actually really easy and it involves using a medication commonly used for dogs and dogs heartworms called Interceptor. And this is a little pill of it here. Now Interceptor is available only by prescription from your vet. So call them up, let them know what you're doing. They'll probably sell you a pack so that you can have it on hand for your tank. So let's talk about getting this Interceptor ready to go. So this is one full pill of Interceptor, which is 23 milligrams of the drug. Now one full pill of this stuff will treat 380 gallons worth of tank water. Now, I'm gonna dose my tank based on 100 gallons so I'm gonna use one quarter of this pill. It's gonna be maybe a little strong on the dose, but I'm okay with that. I wanna make sure I nail these suckers. So now I've got two quarters. I'm gonna save one of these pieces for treatment next week because I'm gonna do this treatment once a week for two weeks. That way I'm sure I knock this stuff out. So after you have the right amount of interceptor broken off from the pill, you're gonna to wanna to smash it down into a really fine powder. You can do this by using the back of a spoon that way I get all the medication that I want in that tank so it can do the most amount of harm against those red bugs. Once you have it all broken down into the powder and before you add it into your tank, you're gonna to wanna to do one more thing, which is what we're gonna talk about next. So I've caught just about every member of my cleanup crew, except for my skunk cleaner shrimp, who's actually one of my most favorite guys in my tank, so I wanna make sure I catch him. Now, he's friendly enough that he'll eat out of my hand, but he sure as heck isn't gonna let me catch him. So what I've done is I've grabbed a little piece of table shrimp, just like this. You can get this at any um, local grocery store in the frozen food section, thawed it out. And I'm gonna place this in the fishnet, just like that, lean it up against the front of the aquarium. When he jumps in there to grab it and eat it, I'll just scoop him up. I'll put him in a bag down in the sump with the rest of my cleanup crew. That way tomorrow morning, after the interceptor treatment's done, I'll just drop him back in the tank. He won't be affected by the treatment which would otherwise kill him and I get to hang on to my favorite cleaner shrimp. So, let's go after the guy. So, my cleaner shrimp's had a look at the shrimp and he's not interested in it, or at least for the moment he isn't. So, I'm gonna go ahead and turn out the lights encourage the fish to go to sleep so they don't get in the net and then hopefully that'll bring the cleaner shrimp out so I can go ahead and grab them out. So let's just turn off our lights and let everyone go to sleep. All right now we wait. So we've caught all my cleanup crew. They're here safely in plastic bags here in my sump. So they're not gonna be affected by the medication. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the air line to my skimmer. Because if the skimmer's running while the medication's in my tank, then some of it could be skimmed off and it won't be as potent to the red bugs that I'm trying to kill. So just turn off the air line, leave it running, leave the pump running. That way the water of the medication gets circulated through your skimmer. If there's any red bugs in here for any reason, they're gonna get killed off. I don't have to worry about them. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop running carbon for the night. The reason for that is the carbon would suck up the medication that's in the tank. So I don't want it tonight because I want all that medication in the water, full potency to kill those red bugs. 
Tomorrow when I do my water change, I'm gonna run as much carbon as I can fit in here. That way it's sucking out that medication. So let's turn off some equipment and then let's dose this tank up and start killing some red bugs. All right, I've unhooked the skimmer. My carbon's out of the tank. I got my medication thoroughly mixed up. I'm ready to unleash some carnage on these red bugs. So all I'm gonna do is just take this water that I mixed up with my medication, pour it right over the top of my tank, leave it for about six, seven hours overnight. In the morning, should be all good to go. So let's go kill some red bugs. Mm-hmm. <laughs>